Hey guys, Brianna Houts here with the Lee County Extension. I am so glad to be back in your classrooms for the Pick a Butter Snack for the month of February. So if anybody remembers what we did last month, mangoes, that's right. So does anybody have any clue what we will be talking about this month if we did a fruit last month? Fruit or vegetable? Right, it's gonna be a vegetable this month, and I'm so excited because I think you guys will all like this, and I'm sure most of you may have had some already. But we will go ahead and talk a little bit about last month's. So did anybody try mango at home with your family? That's awesome. Did your family enjoy it? Did they give you a thumbs up? Did they give you a thumbs to the side or did they give you a thumbs down? Good, I'm glad some of you were at least able to try it at home with your family. That's awesome. And if they liked it, even better. I like that. I like that you're being able to try a new fruit or vegetable with your family each month and talking about it, taking that home. That's awesome. I really like that. Now, one thing that you can do is maybe try a new fruit or vegetable for every day for one week. So starting out like Mondays, you could pick an M like a mango. Tuesdays, you could pick uh, something with a, that starts with a T. Could be a tomato, something like that. You could pick something from the alphabet of the beginning of that day's alphabet letter. So, we are going to try something colorful, which is something else you could do is try a different color each day. So there are lots of different colorful fruits and vegetables, and it also is a great way to get a variety of those vitamins and minerals that our bodies need each day. So, but first, before we get into what we're going to do this month, we're going to do a little fun activity. We're gonna get the wiggles out. So, what we're gonna do is called fruit and vegetable yoga. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to stand up in your spot, making sure that you can't hit anybody. You're moving around, everything like that. There's nobody around you that you can hit. So, what I want you to do is I want you to spread your feet apart. So they're just right under your shoulders. So they're spread apart a little bit. And what I want you to do is I want you to put your arms down by your side with your hands open, just kind of like this, down at your side. So you're standing there. Sorry, you can't see me all because I'm here in front of the camera. So my camera doesn't show all of me, unfortunately. But I'm standing with my arms down by my side and my hands open. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to take a few deep, calm breaths. And I also want you to think about this. I'm going to describe a scene to you and I want you to go ahead and think about it in your mind as you're standing there breathing deep, calm breaths. So like this. And all the while you're thinking of this scene in your head. Think about being on a farm with a big red barn. You're standing in the middle of a field with plants about to your waist. They have all different colors on them. You see red, you see yellows, you see greens, you see purples, you see oranges, you feel a light breeze and the sun is basking down on you. Are we all calm? Or have we done our calm deep breaths? Good, good, good. Now keep standing where you're standing what we're going to do is I want you to keep pretending that you're, or keep 
concentrating on that breathing. Big deep breath in. Big deep breath out. Keep that nice, slow, calming rhythm. That's okay. Now we're going to do a few poses. What I want you to do is I want you to begin by pressing your feet into the ground as if you are a plant sinking its roots deep into the soil. So push those feet into the ground, flat on the ground, both your heels and the balls of your feet. Push them down into the ground. Good. Keep that deep breathing. Great. Now I want you to stretch your body up straight and tall like a stem. Straight and tall up, up as high as you can feel like you're stretching. Good. Keep that breathing. All right. Now I want you to open your arms out wide above your head like leaves on a plant. We're growing big. Our plant is growing, growing, growing. And you can sway back and forth softly, just like you're being blown in that nice breeze. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Keep breathing that deep breathe. Good. Now, if you want to make the plant grow leaves, I want you to pick up your foot and slide it up your other leg just right below that knee. So you kind of make a little triangle, just a triangle. Hold it as long as you can. Keep breathing. Very good. Very good. Now, you can add flowers and fruits and seeds to those plants if you want by stretching your arms out different ways. Keep breathing, deep breaths. Very good, very good. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to have a seat in your chair. Perfect. What we're going to do is one last breathing exercise. What I want you to do is I want you to hold up five fingers. You can do your left hand or your right hand, it doesn't matter. And what I want you to do is we're going to take five breaths, but as we take those breaths, we're going to trace our fingers with our other finger. So you can take your other finger. So I'll show you what we're going to do. Go out like this. Breath in. Okay, so every time you take a breath in, you go up your finger. When you breathe out, you go down your finger. So it's like you're doing those peaks and valleys. So take your time and breathe in. Here we go. Very good. Good job, guys. I'm so excited. I hope you feel a little bit better, kind of slowing down, getting those wiggles out a little bit, moving around. That's what we want. That's awesome. I'm so glad. So next, we'll go on, and we are going to find out what we're going to talk about. Anybody know what this is? 
How about this one? Peppers, yes, very good. They are peppers. We are going to talk about bell peppers today. And I'm sure some of you have probably had some and you guys probably really like them. But talking about them, they come in different colors. So as you can see, I have a green one and I have a yellow one. Different shapes, different sizes, but they're still peppers. So some fun facts about peppers. Peppers originated in Central and South America. Anybody know where that is? If you have a map hanging up in your classroom, this would be a good time for your teachers to show you where that's at. So usually Mexico um, and Southern America, like Brazil, there's some different countries down there, Peru. So those are some options for you. But we can find them here in the United States because California and Florida grow 80% of the bell peppers in the United States. California and Florida. Where are those at? Can you find those on your map in your classroom? Yep, they're at opposite ends of the states, aren't they? One is on the eastern side and the other is on the western side. Yep, and they're both sunshiny states. So they are nice and warm and sunshine, lots and lots of sunshine. So those are good places for those peppers to grow. But peppers can grow in Iowa as well. How many of you have ever had a garden? Or had peppers in your garden? Or picked up peppers from the farmer's market? Yep, they can grow here in Iowa for us. Now, Christopher Columbus discovered peppers in the West Indies and thought they were spices. He brought them back to Europe. So that is how Europe found out about peppers. Peppers have two broad categories. One, hot or chili peppers, like jalapenos, um, they have the ghost peppers. There's lots of different kinds of hot peppers. And two, sweet or bell peppers, like these. Now, the variety and stage of the bell peppers become sweeter and determine the flavor and color of the pepper. So as they get older, they become sweeter and they become milder, so they don't have quite as a big pepper taste. Most peppers are harvested when they are green or immature, but I think this one was a complete pepper because it's pretty good sized. Most but not all green peppers were t will turn yellow or even red over time. So there are many different colors of peppers that you can get. A red pepper is just a mature green pepper. So if you get a red pepper, it's just a really mature, older pepper. And that's okay. You can eat them at any stage of the game. So when you are selecting a pepper out of the grocery store, what you want is you want to select a pepper that has firm skin is heavy for its size. This is a pretty good sized pepper. And it has, you can have a stem. It should be fresh and green. This one doesn't have a stem. It got cut off. So I'll show you this one. So this, it's like a green, hard, it's kind of brown in the middle. So when you cut the pepper open, there are seeds in it, but you want to take those seeds out before eating it. So a lot of times you see when you're at some place where they have peppers, usually you see them sliced with no pep, with no seeds or anything. We'll take a look at inside of a pepper here in just a bit. But I have some questions for you. 
It is important to eat foods that are different colors, naturally colored, not artificially colored. So like peppers, they're artificially colored, or they are not artificially colored. They are naturally colored. So they have, they are green, they are yellow, and they are red as well as orange or purple as well. And they do that on their own. That is naturally done. Fruits and vegetables come in different colors and we want to eat as many different colored fruits and vegetables to stay healthy. If you eat a rainbow, that's great. Eating a rainbow of fruits and vegetables can help us stay as healthy as possible. Name some fruits and vegetables that come in more than one color. What are your thoughts? What are some vegetables or fruits that come in different colors that are the same thing? Peppers, yep, peppers is a fruit that comes as different colors. Apples, how about apples? Do red apples taste the same as green apples? How about grapes? Do red grapes taste different than green grapes? And another one that comes in different colors is cauliflower. You can have different colors of cauliflower too, and that is another good vegetable. Now, as for healthy connections, peppers are high in vitamin C, which helps fight off germs and heals cuts and wounds. Anybody remember what vitamin C is for us? Right, it's our defense shield. It helps keep us healthy, healing our cuts and wounds, and helping us fight off germs. Peppers are also a good source of vitamin A. Anybody remember what vitamin A is? Yes, good for your eyes. Remember our super goggles? Vitamin A is our super goggles. It helps with our vision, makes our eyes good. Very good, good job guys. Now, going through some things, I have some color cards here. Now, I want you, when I hold them up, I want you to name things by their color. So what are some different colors for yellow and orange? You guys get to cheat because there's lots of them on here. Oranges, pineapple, peaches, apricots, cantaloupe, there's your orange. What are those? Anybody remember those? Sweet potatoes. What are those in the back? Carrots. Yes, very good guys. You did really, really well. There are lots of other options that we can have as well, just not these on the paper. Good job guys. Anybody remember one that was yellow from last month? Mangoes, yes, good job guys. How about green? What vegetables can we name that are green? Yes, all good. We've got limes, green beans, cucumbers, green apples, seed peas, peas in their seed pods, kiwi, broccoli, Lettuce, you can also have spinach, you can have cabbage, that's one of my favorite ones. Celery, asparagus, pears, avocados. Yes, there's lots of many options that we can have, not just what's on here, there's lots and lots of colors. Red, red is next. What can you name that is red? Yes, all good choices. We've got tomatoes, 
This is a grapefruit. Our red peppers, watermelon, red apples, strawberries, yummy. Grapes, yummy. There's lots of good yummies on here. I would eat all of this that's on here. These are all good options. Some other ones, we've got cherries, cranberries, pomegranates, raspberries. There's lots of other things. Chili peppers, radishes, red onions. Those are all some that are on our paper as well that are good ones. All right, here's our next one. White, what is white? Pears, pears up here. Bananas, onions, they've got the white onions. Potatoes, yummy. Cauliflower, garlic, I think that's garlic. Yeah, that looks like garlic. There's lots of other ones. Let's see, some other ones that we have are coconuts. Mmm, those are good ones. Let's see, they've got white peaches. There's some other, we've got ginger. Oh, how about one that we tried earlier on in the year called jicama that are a lot like the potatoes. How about mushrooms? Turnips. Turnips is another one. And did you know corn? They make white corn. So those are some that are on this paper that are some other colors as well. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. Now I'm going to throw a hard one in here. Think you can do it? Think you can do the hard part? Blue or purple? <laughs> Blueberries, yes, that's always a good one. So we've got our blueberries up here. We've got grapes, Concord grapes. You've got blackberries. You've got, there's red lettuce, red cabbage. There's purple carrots. This is an eggplant. We've got, um, there are purple peppers as well. That's not on here, but that's one that we're going to talk about is purple peppers. They have purple potatoes. They have purple asparagus. There's the cabbage in the background. Yes. So there are lots. Raisins. Raisins is another one because grapes. Good job, guys. There's lots of activities and vegetables that you can work with to get those all together. Lots and lots. See, this is just one small list of different colored of fruits and vegetables that you can have. Like I said, they're all the rainbow. So eating the rainbow is very healthy for you. Each one has something good for you. Now, got a fun little um, what do you call it? Nursery rhyme, I guess? You guys might know this. Peter Piper picked by Mother Goose. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Now, can you say that three times fast? I can't but you guys are sure welcome to try. We'll go through it one more time and you guys can follow along. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <laughs> That's always a fun one. I always get a laugh at that. Now, we talked about different colors and what they are. I have a picture of all of the different colored peppers that you can get in the store. Red, green, purple, yellow, and orange. They are all the same. They all taste maybe a little bit different. One 
or two might be a little bit milder and sweeter, but they all have a nice flavor to them. They're not spicy. They're not spicy at all. These are a nice, soft, mild flavor for you guys. They're really, really good. Now, we're gonna take a peek at the peppers. Of course, they grow in a variety of colors like we just talked about, I showed you, and different shapes and sizes. As you can see, these aren't the same size. They're about the same shape, just a little bit different. This one has four. Now, if I cut this in apart, mm, this smells so good, it does. This is what it looks like inside a pepper. Different ones. Now, what they talked about is the seeds. So as you can see, the seeds in there, those are what you wanna take out along with the stem. So you can just, once you cut it in half, with the help of an adult, you can just pop the stem out usually. This one's gonna be a little bit harder for me. But you should be able to pull that out just like that. And this is all of the seeds. And you might want to knock out some of the seeds because some of the seeds stayed in there so you can knock those out a little bit. But that is what the inside of a pepper looks like. And it smells oh so sweet. Oh, it smells good. I love it. And you can slice it just like this. You guys might have some sliced like this cut in like triplets or quarters, something like that. So you um, you can each have a little bit of a taste test. So you might have, one of you might try a red, one of you might try a green, one of you might try a yellow, because you have all different colors in your bags that I sent with you guys. So you can see those, but those are good. So, if you touch the pepper, your teacher probably has a pepper for you to look at. If you touch it, what's it feel like? Is it rough or smooth? Is it firm or is it soft, like really, really soft? Like you could probably put your finger through it. Nope, it's more firm, isn't it? How about smelling? Oh, I probably gave that away. Uh, it smells sweet. It smells really, really good. Now, it's kind of a little tougher on the inside and it's wet. Yeah, it's wet. Very good. All right, so now as we get ready for our taste test, you can take this time to pause the video and go wash your hands. So we need to have clean hands before we touch our foods. I will see you back here in just a minute when you get all of your hands washed. Make sure you do not push, shove, and you have a nice line going to your wash your hands for your station. All right, great. Now that we're all back, ready for our taste test, you probably have your taste test in front of you. Now you can feel it. What's it feel like? Wet, a little bit hard, firm, smooth, yep. And what's it smell like? Does it smell? Oh, so good. It smells so sweet. I love it. Now, as we reminders, we are in the no yuck zone where you try. If you need to, you can get up quietly and spit it in the trash can if you don't like it. Don't make a big deal of it. Um, everyone needs to have their chance to try it, remember? So our no yuck zone, that's where we're at. All right. Now, I want you to take Taste it. What's it taste like? It's like a sweet, mild, very hardly anything there, and it's really, really good. I love it. Is it crunchy, or can you not hear anything? Yep, it's crunchy, isn't it? Yeah, very good. All right. Now, do you think one color is going to be sweeter if you have one over another? Yeah, your yellow and red might be just a tad bit more sweeter than your green, but not by much. There's not going to be much of a difference between them. Now, now that we're all back at our tables and we're going to do our votes. Thumbs up for I liked it. 
thumbs to the side for it was okay, I'd probably try it again. Thumbs down, no, I probably wouldn't like it. But if you say thumbs down, remember how many times do you need to try something before you know if you like it? Right, seven times before you know. So, all right, here we go. On three, we're gonna vote. One, two, three. Good, I'm glad to see most of you liked it or was to the side. If you didn't like it, that's okay. Remember, it takes seven times to know if you like something before you try it. I'm just glad that you tried your pepper today. Now, there are many different ways that you can see it or eat it. Where can you find it at in the store? Where do you see it at? Yep, you find it in the fresh fruit and vegetable section right as you walk into each store. Very good. And yep, you can sometimes find them in the canned section. And yep, sometimes you can find them in the freezer section. So very good, very good. There's one other place that you can also find them as well. Well, two places, I guess. Farmer's market in the spring and summer, as well as on farms. So if you go to a farm that's like a pick, like Harvestville, sometimes they'll have them. Um, those are some places that you can find them. Very good. Now, in your take home folders today, your teacher will have your newsletter, your fact sheet, your coloring sheet, as well as your bingo. I hope you guys are all doing bingo. So at the end of the year, when your teachers let me know, I can give every single one of you a prize for bringing back in at least one bingo sheet. I think you guys will like that. So now who's gonna go home and tell their parents all about peppers? Good. Now, what colors can peppers be? Yep, all colors. Green, yellow, red, orange, purple. Very good. So, will you go home and ask for peppers to try them again with your family? What color will you ask for? I like that, all different colors. Very good. Now, as we end, I wanna say thank you guys. You guys were all great again. I hope you enjoyed the taste test and seeing everybody as much as I did. So we will see you next month in March for, I wonder what we're gonna do. Maybe a fruit. Bye guys, thanks for joining me.